The city of Norman wants to save water by reusing it. The city expects to grow a lot by, by thousands and thousands and says reusing wastewater is just one way for them to prepare. KOCO's Elise Jones tells us what is in the works. The city of Norman's main source of drinking water, Lake Thunderbird, could soon be the site of recycled water. The city says they want the lake to look like this, full of water and not like this, shallow and dry. What it really does is help us become drought proof. Water's gold. We have to have water to, from cooking to going to the bathroom to drinking to doing everything. We have to have it for life. City Council looking into a new model that would recycle Norman's water by taking wastewater, treating it and feeding it into Lake Thunderbird when the water levels are low. You recycle aluminum, you recycle plastic. We're talking the concept of recycling water. So it's a very uh, drought resistant idea and we're pursuing it, but we want to see what the costs are, make sure it's the most affordable for our community and a good way to go forward. The model would tell city officials when drought is near and they need to fill up the lake. Then it'll predict when the city can stop feeding water in to save money. The catch for Norman now is getting other cities who share the lake, like Midwest City and Dell City, on board. Norman officials say it's beneficial for everyone in the future. Yeah, it's an average annual average of about 13 million gallons a day is what we're looking to get us to uh, the strategic water supply plan of 20, 2060. How can we make sure that the citizens of Norman and other citizens have enough water to be able to, if we grow, how many houses can we put in? If we decide to have more farms, how much water can we use on those farms? While some may be concerned about the idea of recycled water, they say it's as pure as it gets and would be filtered well before it reaches your glass. The city has a $148,000 grant for this, plus would use an additional $47,000 from the city budget if they move forward with this idea. Tonight at city council, they'll decide if they want to approve a contract to continue this process. Reporting in Norman, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.